I'm just going to make a, a quinoa, salted quinoa with turmeric. And I put already um, sunflower oil here. And I hit the pan already. So I have a garlic here. And I want to put a carrot. Onion. Just uh, one fourth of onion, a uh, sliced, and a little bit of a fried tofu, and I have term um quinoa right here for at least uh, two cups, and I'm gonna put them this uh, um, herbs in uh, other ingredients. This one, the dill right here. The mushroom uh, seasoning blend, turmeric, red uh, pepper or cayenne pepper, garlic salt with uh, parsley. Okay, guys. Um. All right. Uh, let me do the garlic first. Okay. I want to put add a little bit of oil since like um I want to put uh, you can put different kind you know um any kind of oil you know cooking oil mm. okay and I'll wait until we turn into golden brown. Once it turns a golden brown, I'm gonna put my uh, onion. I put a little bit of uh, garlic uh, salt with parsley. And now it's time to put my um, onion. Give it for like a few seconds. And I want to put my, um, now my um, carrot. Source of beta carotene. Okay. Good for has a vitamin E and A in this. Good for uh, health benefits, guys. Health benefits, uh, the carrot. Just let it sit there for at least maybe uh, about a minute.
And so, I don't want it to be super overcooked. So, I'm going to put my uh, tofu there. And now, I'm going to put my, um, what is it, uh, my, uh, my quinoa. I'm going to put some quinoa after this. Okay. That is so healthy, guys. Do you know, guys, that the quinoa is actually high protein? And this is, of course, plant based diet. Healthy. It's a complete protein. So, and it has fiber in it. It's a type of grains, guys. If you are, if you don't want to eat rice, then this could be a substitute. Because this is what I do now, guys. I don't really eat much rice. So, and I try to eat more quinoa than uh, rice. Um, I want to put a little bit of garlic salt and red cayenne pepper just a little bit enough just a hint in there you know and also turmeric I like this I like turmeric guys and turmeric is healthy and I have a seasoning blend here, which is umami that has a mushroom in this. It has a black pepper, dried thyme, kosher salt, and dried onions, mushroom, and what else? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I like this one here. Mm. Yummy. And I want to put the dill. I love the all. I like the smell of this. And we'll just mix them up. You know? That. And a little bit of salt. I oh, know, I'm sorry. A little bit of. And. Soy sauce, my favorite soy sauce of all time. Okay, and I want to put like a little bit of a just a little bit of water, guys. That way, um, it's not that it's not going to be like like dry. At least maybe um one fourth, you know. Mm, just about one fourth of water, and I don't want it well dry too, like dry, and it's not going to be good. So let it sit for um. Like a minute there with a medium uh, heat about medium heat okay and it will be yummy just about a minute and it will be ready okay
this time. It's a healthy cooking. Mmm. It's delicious, guys. I don't know. I just like this. Why? Because it's healthy and I love this. This is my own recipe, guys. Just try this out. It's delicious. Let me try a little bit. Mmm. The smell of the dill is good and tastes good. Mmm. Actually, the quinoa, guys, already cooked it, guys. It was like about one and a half cup. So, it's cooked already. And I'm just, you know, and after that, I made doing like this. Just saute it. It's just like a fried rice, you know. It's like a fried quinoa. You know, and put some, instead of rice, you put, uh, you use quinoa. Right? So, if you, if you want to prepare a quinoa, so, you can do this way, guys. I think this is ready. It's ready now. Mm. This will be my lunch, guys. Ooh. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Well, I will have another video of this a little bit, which is including for my for my um uh, mung beans and also a what is that um other bok choy. I'm gonna partner with this quinoa. Okay.